It's March 1927, and having recently retired from professional motor racing, Henry Seagrave is embarking on a new challenge. But the first English driver to win a Grand Prix hasn't lost his need for speed. And the streamlined beauty being unveiled today in Wolverhampton is faster than any machine to have ever appeared at Brooklands or Le Mans. Seagrave wants to break the world land speed record, and in doing so become the first man on earth to go through the 200 mile per hour barrier. And so his sunbeam is packed up and shipped off to America, where the firm wide sands on the beaches of Daytona in Florida provide the perfect conditions for an assault on the record. It's March the 29th, 1927, and in front of 30,000 spectators, American-born Seagrave is preparing to match speed with style as he seeks to make history today in his racing car that his team have nicknamed the Slug. He makes two one-mile runs in both directions, buffeted by strong winds. Seagrave emerges from his cockpit to discover that he's a record breaker. The timekeepers confirm that his average speed is 203.79 miles per hour. The Englishman becomes a national hero overnight, and now he wants to go even faster.